oh, hey there. Um, getting ready to watch uh, the second part of our double feature weekend. Are you guys excited? I'm pretty excited. Um, this episode is the Hooded Monk figure. Uh, should be pretty awesome. I'm uh, pretty excited. Don't have any snacks today, unfortunately, but I hope you guys do. Um, I, I got a drink at least, so I got something. But uh, let me bring that video up for you guys. There we go. Welcome to Cool's Fun Facts, Episode 9. Today we are talking about the Hooded Monk figure. Uh, this topic was brought to us by Mary Duravinus. Thank you, Mary, and I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Um, so yeah, the topic today is the Hooded Monk figure. Um, there's actually not any specific... Uh, knowledge on this particular phenomenon. Um, I haven't really been able to find any uh, specific facts or details on them uh, other than people's accounts of these situations where they've uh, come in contact with the hooded monk figures or taken pictures or video of them. Um, uh, but to add to that there are photos of it, specifically this photo. In this image you see a figure on the right side of the screen. Uh, this image was taken back in the 1960s by a vicar of the church. And when the vicar developed this photo, he saw the figure on the right side. During the time of taking this picture, the vic vicar did not see anything out of the ordinary, did not witness anything um, until he developed it. Um, but there are a lot of other images. I know there's a very famous one that's in books and stuff uh, of a monk standing on the steps of a church um, in very bright detail. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find this image or find any information about this image. So that may be purely in those books or maybe a faked photo. And that's why I couldn't find any information on it as being a actual uh, f factual photo of an apparition caught on a uh, camera. But I wanted to go into uh, hooded figures and monks specifically each because since I couldn't find any information on just hooded monk figures I thought I'd split it up and discuss each individual topic. So I'm going to start off with the hooded figures, just hooded figures in general. They are quite tall supposedly, about three meters in height which is about nine feet, a little over nine feet tall. Um, they tend to come to you at night, either in a dream or in your actual bedroom or where you're sleeping, and they will be standing over you looking at you. And you can't make out their face. It's just a hooded figure. Um, there's slight differences between a hooded figure and a shadow person which we talked about in episode 7 I believe it was or no it's episode 6 I apologize we talked about hooded uh, shadow people and uh, the difference is shadow people are most often seen out of your peripheral vision and when you do look at them they dissipate either into a wall or into a corner or they back away and disappear into the darkness a hooded figure will supposedly lead you out of your bed or where you're sleeping, out of the building or wherever you're sleeping, and into a secluded area where it can speak to you. And 
when you see a sh hooded uh, figure, it will either give you a fearful emotion, a um, joyous emotion, or a um, curious emotion. You're interested in what it is, what it's talking to you. And it's thought to either talk to you physically or through tele uh, telepathy, where it can speak to you through your mind. Um, but yeah, it supposedly leads you off into a secluded area where it can tell you a fact, something that's going to happen, or something that's going to happen to you, either bad or good. It will tell you something. Um, I've never had that sort of uh, occurrence, so I can't really tell you much about that. But uh, they look like almost like the Grim Reaper. But some believe that they might be extraterrestrials and that this is how they communicate with you um, by taking you out of your home somewhere else and speaking with you telepathically. But that's a little bit further into extraterrestrials than I want to go. Maybe if you guys want to hear about extraterrestrials, I know that one of our uh, members, well, one of our former members who may possibly rejoin us soon here, asked uh, me to talk about extraterrestrial activity and how it relates to the paranormal. So I'll go on a little bit about extraterrestrials in that one. But if you want to hear specifically about extraterrestrial activity, um, just submit that topic to our uh, Facebook forum. And to get there, all you have to do is go to our Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com slash coolparanormal. And on the right side of the screen, next to our likes tab, where it shows who likes us, there's a forum tab. Just press that, and it'll take you to the forum. You may have to download the app, but it's perfectly safe. It's a Facebook app, so there's no problems you'll run into. Just uh, download it and hop in. Give us some uh, feedback and stuff. But um, I'm going to move on to talking about monks, monks in general. Now, monks are in tons of religions. It's a more of a religious concept than anything else so I'm not really going to dig deep into that side of it, the religious side of it. I think in our previous video we went on a little bit about that stuff um, especially since our previous video was possession that really has to do with Christian uh, beliefs uh, their belief structure and such. But um, monks they're individuals that dedicate their life to a belief or an idea or they leave mainstream society to live their life in prayer and contemplation. And they do this so that they can either reach a goal or a new enlightenment or they can get to heaven or nirvana in the end. They can get to the highest level of the afterlife. Um, but when you're talking about hooded monk apparitions, that brings a little bit more into the idea because there's a belief that when spirits when you see their apparitions and they are intelligent and they communicate with you that they are they are spirits that did not achieve their goal in life they didn't finish what they were trying to so these apparitions of hooded monk figures could possibly be um, hooded monks that didn't reach nirvana, they didn't reach their enlightenment that they had hoped to. So they live in our world as an apparition trying to find a end to that. Also, on that same idea that they're apparitions, there's a belief that courts can hold information, sounds, um, images and such and since quartz is uh, can be has an electrical current going through it sometimes we can rehear or see those sounds and those videos and stuff 
like the world is playing back that moment in time. So if these monks continue to do that same pattern all the time, perhaps the court or whatever um, conductive minerals around there held that image in time, that monk going back and forth or standing where he was um, in history. So it may not even be a intelligent apparition. It may just be a uh, residual haunting, which we will talk in a later episode as well. I believe that is in the end of our first season here. Um, so look forward to that one. I'll be talking about residual hauntings and stuff. And I think I'll have Keegan here with me for that one. I'm hoping so. Um, but yeah... There's not any information specifically on hooded monk figures or hooded monk apparitions, except tons and tons of um, accounts of them. And I think I mentioned it early in the video, if not, uh, Mark, one of our investigators, and Keegan's father both had, a, had experiences seeing these hooded monk figures. So there are tons of accounts. The, it's not questioning people counting them. It's questioning what they are. And maybe if a group wants to, another paranormal group wants to study that, or perhaps we'll look into that if we can find an area where this is a recurring phenomenon, where people are seeing this apparition over and over and over again. We will look into that. But for now, it's just a phenomenon that people are uh, seeing. But uh, thank you all for joining me for Cool's Fun Facts, Episode 9. Thank you, Mary, for your topic. I had a ton of fun looking up this information. Um, I dug really deep trying to really get into where the information was, but unfortunately I just could not dig out that information. But thank you all for joining me. Take care. Shadow Dreams. That was some good information right there. What'd you guys think? Kind of uh, a little bit disappointing, but I was pretty satisfied with all that info he gave me. Yeah, I never really thought about that stuff until now. But, um,. Thank you all for joining us for our Cools Paranormal Double Feature Weekend. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing this again in the future. I'll give you guys a little bit more notice uh, next time around so you can uh, you guys can tune in. So see you all later. Bye.